Get ready to hit this game, so I'll take a space, get the chin to chin. The main thing I want to think about, if I'm going to single leg X, is I don't do water slide. Where if I like, grab this and shoot through and crunch this mouse, boom! You don't want that. So, I want to make sure I bring my knee to my chest to stop that. So from chin to chin guard, I grab the back of the knee, and I kick my left leg through to stop the mount, I bring this knee to my chest. And then, do the single leg X. So again, recap on our single leg X guard, my left foot, my left heel is clapping over his hip, my right reverse Delahim hooks in, I have double underhooks, I lift my hips off the map, so the space underneath my butt, and then I make Car, car turn his knee to the outside. And then it's my leg lock, and again I go straight into the 50 from there if I want. But, let's look at how to get to the 50 from that position again. So from there, from headquarters, I go shin to shin. When I make the grip, and I bring my knee to my chest, and my foot comes across, a common counter um, from single leg ice guard is, Carl bends down and grabs my lapel and lowers the center of gravity. So when I make the grip, even if I lift my hips off the mat, I get my knees together, I try to hit the sweep, it's not going to happen because he's lowered the center of gravity by grabbing onto me and bending over. So from that position, my right hand grabs the back of the knee. I have his um, foot trapped under my armpit. So I'm going to pull his knee forward so I can swim my arm through the space. I get an underhook. I get an underhook on this leg. And even if Karsten has his grip, I'll thread this foot through to make my triangle. So from there, it's easy to pull the knee. If he's still got the grip and he's bent over, I just lift my hip. So when I get to my position, I drag this across. I'm looking for that first foot lock that we learned in week one. Car turns his knee, let it through, make my gable grip, and I bring my elbow to the mat. But this time, he's got a free foot. He starts kicking on my hand or on my shoulder to, to break my grip. Now, whether I drag the leg across or Car brings it across, if he can pass from this position. Before he can do that or initiate that, I'm already turning into the foot lock again, only with this different variation. So my foot is beside his hip, I'll feed this to the lapel, I already have my gala heat hook in. So I've done slightly different, last time we done it from this side, and I was on my elbow, and then I come up to my hand, and then I showed him my back which was more like a toe hold orientation, or a toe hold pressure. But because it's on the same side, all I'm gonna do is turn my shoulders. So I need to tuck my elbow in, because it's stopping my mobility. So as I tuck it in, I'm withdrawing my left elbow, or left shoulder, as I bring my right shoulder to my hand. So basically, it's this type of movement on the ground. That makes sense. So again, from shin to shin, another, another way into it is I can make Char take a dinosaur step. So I double, double unders here. I'll just fall to my side, elevate his leg, and the single leg X. shuts down my single leg X by bending down and getting a grip on the lapel. So now it's difficult for me to hit that single leg X guard sweep. So my arm isn't in the orientation I need. I need to get more leverage to sweep him with an overhook. So my right hand controls the knee. Because if I don't control the knee and I just try to swim in the side card and pull his leg back, yes, and I don't want that. So my right hand controls. So I can let go with this and swim this through. I get the hook of my arm under his leg. I reach for this one. From that position, I bring my hook, my Delahiko reverse Delahiko hook through the space and over his hip. The car is still bent over, he still has his bow. So I can either put my foot on my, on my leg or make the triangle. But to sweep him, the way my hips is below his knee, I have to lift my hips above his knee and then I flourish me 
So, let me end up here, dragging it across into the 50. Carl stomps his knee up. Folks, I'm looking for that cross side football. The space on the back of the leg. The second I drop down into the toe, he kicks that free. Whether he brings it across or I do, I'm already latching onto it. Now, we've already looked at most of these guys know how to do the foot lock from the Ashigarami position. Just this with one foot on the hip, and this one's inside, and I'm pinching, and I can hit it from there. But then the escape is a lot easier if Kurt smears that and comes across. The other thing is, from that Ashigami position, sometimes people will sit up into you, make a grip, and put the boot on. And it's very hard for me to finish the foot lock now. Because once he makes a bet and straightens his leg, it's very hard for me to get that back. But if we take it back to this control, and here, if Karen makes his grip and puts a bend on the leg, I'll feed the lapel to my hand. That frees up this hand. So now he's got a straight leg. I just grab my Delaheva hook, put it into the foot of his knee. My right foot is blocking off his hip. He can't lift his hip over my foot, and all I have to do is put my face in the mat to get a bend in the leg. Put the boot on, get the boot on, look, I'm here, I just put a, a little bit of a leverage behind the back of his knee, and then from there, just drive it. Slide method, I bring my knee to my chest, foot comes up, Karen makes his grips, right hand controls, left, and I get this in my arm, under hook on this leg, I thread my right leg through to the far hip. My hips are below his knee, so I'm gonna lift my body up on my shoulders and make the triangle. And Second he kicks it off and brings it through, I'm already tagging this side. Here, from that position, even if he goes for that, his hand's free. So I grab my Delaheba hook, I just sit my elbow underneath, and I put my face in the So, still that guy, yeah? 